all and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a weird little pen for you and it is a pilot pocket pen, specifically a telescoping pen. Um, and I'm borrowing this from Brownie. He sent me a whole slew of pocket pens to do like the big pocket pen extravaganza. Uh, so a comparison is coming, but I first want to look at this funky little pen up close because it is really interesting to me that Pilot made this in the 60s and it's like, Pilot makes these pens, they're like gadgety, um, but super fun and funky to look at. So let us change the shot and go look at it up close. All right, let's switch a shot. All right, here we are with a close-up of a very interesting pen, in my opinion, the Pilot Telescoping Long Short Pocket Fountain Pen. And as you can see, it is like this brush steel finish with a black barrel end, uh, which you can post the cap on. And right there, it has the Pilot engraving top of the cap, not super interesting fairly generic right there and in general when you look at this pen it's kind of unassuming which is nice to some people um, the finish is just brushed steel there's nothing like super exciting going on when you uncap it it becomes much more exciting in my opinion so if you keep it stored you keep it stored like this and then when you uncap it it pops out like that and it makes it a long like decently sized pen so that's why they call it a telescoping pen like normal situation is like this and when it's telescoped out it is quite a long pen it has a hood and nib this nib is a steel nib it's a fine nib and it is a very very fine nib um, actually having kind of trouble using it because of that that is personal preference, like, it doesn't really mean anything about the quality of the pen. It's just not my cup of tea right there. Um, you have a silver ring right here, and then you can unscrew the actual section. This is not the section. This is the actual section. And it will reveal a converter. This is, a, I think, a modern converter. It's just a Con40 the converter that I dislike the most in the world. Um, and it just fits in here, even though it's quite a small pen especially when it's all tucked in, but it works. And yeah, that is this very funky telescoping pen. Um, it's a vintage pilot. I think it's from the 60s. They can still be found online. Um, posting it makes it even longer. And I, I would say you can put it back in and just use the post-it. Um, it doesn't make it too top heavy. It's actually kind of nice to post it. Um, but if you want a longer pen, just put it back out and all is well. Um, you can still buy these. I saw one on eBay recently. It was a turquoise one, which I really liked. I'm borrowing this from Brownie, who <laughs> sent me a bunch of pens to review, as you may have noticed. Um, and yeah, I, I am interested in it. It's very cool, and I love hooded nibs. Y'all probably know that. So, because I've had this uncapped for a little bit, it's probably gonna have trouble starting up, but we'll see. I used it yesterday and it was okay, but I hadn't used it for a couple days and it was kind of dry. Um, so let's just see. It is a Pilot Fine Nib, it's a steel fine nib. So, um, that might help you realize what to expect. Oh, didn't dry out. That's great. Hooded nibs generally dry out a little slower than regular nibs. Pilot, telescoping, fountain pen, Ooh. from the 60s I believe, from the 60s, is that even focusing, let me hope so, from the 60s, uh, fine steel nib, And I believe this ink is diamine. Majestic blue. It's one of my favorite blues and it flows really, really well and it sheens. There's no line variation when you just use it. Um, you can actually gently push it to get some variation out of it. But since it's a steel nib and 
Like, I wouldn't want to ruin this nib. I would not push it a lot. Uh, naturally, all these nibs will be a little different. Um, but in general, don't, don't flex a nib that is not made for flexing. That is how you wreck fountain pens. All in all, it's a lovely little pen. And I wish it was broader. <laughs> But it is fun and like it is like a little gimmicky, but it's so cool like tiny tiny pen not so tiny tiny pen Like it's fun, and it seems like such a pilot thing Anyway, hope you enjoyed this small look at this small pen um, more pocket pens coming in the future uh, And yeah, hope you enjoyed see you guys next time. Bye. Bye